this is Brian Cook and Kendra Cox with DiscoverWoodward.com, and we haven't introduced us yet. So okay, we're so here we're, today. Oh, I interrupted you. I that's going to happen a lot. <laughs> <laughs> we don't even have to edit that out because that's normal. Yeah. Okay, so we're also with Keller Williams Realty Elite. Yes. And so we wanted to do this interview with one another because we wanted to make sure that everyone understood um, why we really do what we do. Um, but also to share our business because our business is, is very much what we love. So yes. um, you first, are you ready? I'm ready. I'm going to interview the heck out of you. Like it is your turn. Your spotlight is on you. We'll probably run out of time for me. Okay, so nope. first things first. Who are you? I am Brian Cook and I was... <laughs> Good job. Uh, yeah, see? I got the first question right. Yes. Okay. Um, so yes, Brian Cook. I was... Um, you were born and raised in this area. Northwest Oklahoma, my whole life. Mm -hmm. uh, didn't make it much past about 60 miles from home. So went to graduate Laverne, Oklahoma uh, mm -hmm. in 95. Um, raised on a large farm ranch operation. Uh, went to college in Northwestern. Had no clue what to do, so they taught me to teach. Which I think helps in real estate, because I feel like we, we educate our customers mm -hmm. through the entire process. Um, and then one thing led to another, and I'm here. Absolutely. That's a long story if we want to get into that. No, but you're really here, not... Why are you really here? Why are you in Woodward? Um, I married a girl from Woodward. And she <laughs> said, let's live in Woodward. I, said, I love this. Ah, so Carrie okay. Ann, Carrie Ann and I were in high school together. Yes. Um, and then had a couple of classes, I think, in college mm -hmm. together. Um, so you married Carrie Ann and Mashlock. Yes. So, so you have a beautiful family here. You you married and have three daughters. Yes. And um, each one will tell us that they're your favorite. Absolutely. <laughs> It's my favorite because you're always like, "It's my favorite," and I'm like, "What?" Then it occurred to me you you do that with all three of them. Yes. So, all right, so you've got a busy you've got a busy schedule anyway, but with your mm -hmm. three girls, and then um, this real estate game takes you. Um, you you work a lot. I do. I, I hate. Um, I haven't learned the concept of no yet, um, <laughs> and I'm I I want to make sure we have covered all of the bases today, and. Weeks and months and years down the line. I want right. to make sure that all that's covered. And I, I spend lots of time working to prevent issues, I guess. Absolutely. All right, so we've talked a lot um, because, I, because I've known you for quite some time now because of, because of Carrie Ann. Mm -hmm. um, and and you're, you're a lot different than you were whenever you were in school. Mm -hmm. So what? <laughs> here's what I heard. I lived in Laverne for a short time and I always heard... <laughs> It's a miracle those cook boys are alive. Yes. Um, and some of the stories that you tell, and sometimes while you drive, I understand yes. exactly what they mean. But what what do you think has made you be successful in real estate? Um, so growing up on a farm, you have to work hard, mm -hmm. and there's times you just you can't quit. It's endurance and go. Um, farming life is too sitting around, too much sitting around for me. <laughs> but <clears throat> there's always something to do, um, and you may have to work you know 20 hours one day, and then the weather stops you and you get a break. But right. but it, real estate's kind of the same. Mm -hmm. When the call comes in, it's go time. I mean, you got to go take care of what's he's taken care of. Absolutely. So you learned this from who? My stepdad. Yes. I LB, think that's yeah. awesome. Yeah, Elby Bentley. He's he's a good old guy. He is a good old guy. He's a lot of fun. When he comes in, I always want to sit and chat, <laughs> but I have to keep working. <laughs> and Diane, they're yes. they're great people. Yes. All right, so that's a little bit about you. Um, so one of the things um, you and I have teamed for almost three years, yeah. I guess, right? Two and a half years, probably. Two and a half years. Um, and and we, well, we tried to team a lot further than that, but you just no, I didn't try to team with you before I that. Had to <laughs> keep trying, <laughs> and so um, it was. Uh, Eight years of negotiating. <laughs> I think that makes you sound like a master negotiator. Maybe, yeah. Maybe yeah. so. You must okay. say no a lot. Yeah. <laughs> but, but we joke about that. But you asked me at a time whenever, I took a couple of breaks from real estate, mm -hmm. and at each of those breaks, you, you said, please don't take a break. Please just work for me. Mm -hmm. And I was like, no, I, I'm doing what I'm doing. Like, because, you know, can't tell me what to do. That's right. So, but we decided that we wanted to team because, um, because our skill sets are very complementary of one another, I think. Um, I'm yes. kind of taken over, and you can change no, it in right. a minute when you Because, yeah, it comes back to I go, 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 mm -hmm. and I am zero organized. I say zero. I mean, I've, I've got my piles. You have your system. <laughs> and um, and I, I tend to need, um, I call it redirection. Um, <laughs> did you go get that sign? Yes, it I'll go get it like right now. It feels like a little bit. <laughs> no. I hate that, but, but it is. I mean, it's kind it's of how we work. Right. Um, and you just said you like to go, 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 because we know I like to sit and stay. No, 
That's not it either. <laughs> no, but, I think that's why we team well, though, because yes. you recognize there are things that I need and that I want to do. Mm -hmm. um, so I like to go, 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 too, but I need to be grounded. So I need to come back to the office and get focused and get organized and be grounded and then be able to go and do better with our customers again. Mm -hmm. So I need a little bit more of that quiet time. You thrive with the people. Like, yes. if you don't have people time, you're you're kind of a mess. So, <laughs> I didn't want to say that on the camera. Okay, so, I mean, so that's one of the things that we did. So, um, we, we competed against each other for a number of years. Yes. Um, and I finally really started competing really well. Yes. Go ahead, say it. Please say it. It's, there was a time. Say it. When I thought I was going to get beat. You did get beat. Oh, just for a very I quit. short time. I quit, and you still so were beat for you months. Quit? For months, I was still number one. Anyway, okay, so um, so we competed very well together. Yes. But one of the things that I always appreciated and that um, that I've shared with other people is you would educate me as we would go because you'd started before me, um, and obviously you'd had more transactions because like because you were do or die. I mean, yep. you had a closing within a month, and well, I, I quit teaching, and my, me and my wife neither one had jobs. So yeah, well, that's exciting. <laughs> Burn the ships. Let's get this thing going. Okay, so you you started a little differently than me. I started a little slower pace. I'm in a different. Um, I think personality is probably is really what a lot of that boils down to. But, but as we would work, you were always a great resource to me. Even as a competitor, I'd be like, I need a, I need a fence guy, and you'd send me it. It really makes me laugh. It'd be first name fence guy, and I'd be like, that's <laughs> I have a lot of fence guys and yard guys in my phone now. Yeah. So, um, so you always were really helpful to educate me, which I think is really important. Um, which brings me to the next thing. One of the things that, that you have allowed for us to do as a team is the Brian and Kendra show. Mm -hmm. I stinking love it. Yes. I love it. Like, I used to say I wanted to be in Disney. Um, I used to say I wanted to be in Disney cartoons because, like, you could sing and nobody could see you. <laughs> it's perfect. Now yes. I get to do the Brian and Kendra show. Nobody can see me. See, and then so I realized you were going to video them. Oh, man. Oh, heck. What? Okay, but it goes back to education. Mm -hmm. So we love, we both were educators. I tried to teach for a couple of years, and, um, and I'm just not, I love, I love y'all's kids. But I'm just not a teacher of that whole discipline thing. Yeah. It ain't for this girl. So you have found a way that you will allow me and yourself to continue to educate people. We get to share um, our tips and tricks and our advice in real estate so that we can help buyers and sellers to be more prepared and to have better transactions to um, all together just have a better, a more positive real estate experience. Um, and part of that's because of, of our team, how we work. Mm -hmm. um, so we were laughing today as we left a closing. Um, there are people that I absolutely love. Like I love this lady that we closed with. We we had a couple of closings today, and um, but you had to you had to pick up a lot of, of pieces for me, and and you ran with it. And um, still, when we left, she texted and said, "Hey, I just sent somebody your number," <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, "Brian did all the work." <laughs> but but really, I mean, that's part <clears throat> of what that's why the team and thing it, works. It works, and it it feels like I may be doing all the work, but I'm not. I'm doing the you're doing the art stuff. Go coordinate this. <laughs> go paint that. Go cut that down. Go right. put up a sign. Go, you know, go show the house again. I can tear time. stuff out. Yes. I mean, tear well, stuff I have apart. A list for you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So Brian, the Brian and Kendra show. So we're mm -hmm. on um, KLSI. I probably said it wrong. Um, One hundred seven. One hundred seven three classic hits on Thursday nights, and we love that. And mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know when you kind of, you kind of had kept saying that for a long time, and finally yeah. you just pulled the trigger. And it has been so fun. Yeah, it's been fun. And then this Discover Woodward thing is super huge to both of us. And yep. um, one of the questions that, that we have on the website says, what do you love about the area? Um, and everybody says the people, and we love the people. Yes. Um, but I love, I love the, I don't know, the variety of landscape, I guess. I love that if I go to Boiling Springs, then I have trees. And if I go to Alabaster Caverns, um, and then I have caverns. canyons. And, and even Buffalo, the drive to Buffalo is really, really yes. beautiful. Uh, but then there's this amazing flat, and I can see the sunset or the sunrise, mm -hmm. and I stinking love this area. Yeah, we went um, Friday evening. Mm -hmm. My parents showed up, and we just said, hey, I've got some land we're putting on the market, yeah. and we drove out there. I think it's probably the highest point in Woodward County, because when we got to the peak of the property, I think you could see the Kansas border. When like do you, I get to go there? What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> so, yes. point is, um, discoverwoodward.com, because we wanted to promote where we are, because mm -hmm. we know how amazing Woodward is, and so we wanted to share that, and so it's another way that you were like, hey, I think you might like this, and you... you... And it came back to time. I didn't have mm -hmm. time. Nope. And we needed someone to step in, and then we have some extra help. Yes, thankfully we have Carrick with us yes. for a little bit, and he, 
man, because I, I couldn't do any of this oh, camera business stuff. But um, so it's been, I mean, it's been a really good team. Um, and it's allowed for us to do different things for our community. It's allowed for us to do different things um, to help buyers and sellers because our first, um, our first real passion in this business world is real estate. Yes. We love helping with real estate. And so. It's really depend on video and TV and radio to make a living. We'd both be hungry. <laughs> hey. <laughs> well, maybe we so. are. <laughs> Ouch. Yes. Okay, so, um, so one of the things that I always laugh about, we talk about memorable experiences, but and so I have two kids, and now they're, they're young adults, and, but they still take care of me all the time. Um, so my daughter is actually the youngest, and um, when she was about seven or eight, she had to go. Well, that always went on on property to properties with me, and so we went to this property. And she goes, "Mom, she's looking." She goes, "This would never go up FHA." There's she literally lists this off: cracked and peeling paint. There's no GFI outlets. Da 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 da. And I'm like, "Oh my gosh, did you look at the water heater?" Like it made me laugh. So real estate is totally. Um, it's, it's. I mean, I've raised my kids to know different things, and. Um, and I mean, we love it. We love the relationships. I'm speaking for both of us. Mm -hmm. We love the relationship that we build, and we love the different. I love the variety of the, the contract types and the different situations. And I mean, nothing's the same. No. Nothing is ever the my same. My kids hate it when we go anywhere because <laughs> they're like, "Oh, Can Dad, we take our separate car to Walmart because <laughs> Dad will be there two hours." There yes. is that. Yes, because we that. know everybody out here. My daughter. And that's the one thing I like yeah. about when you go to yes. Wichita, where my daughter lives now, and. and I can drive around all day and not see anybody I know. In Woodward, I don't know if I go anywhere I don't know half the people. <laughs> but you can't hardly go to Oklahoma yeah. City without running into right. half of Woodward yeah. too. So I love that. I love that about where we are that we're able to build such great relationships. Yes. Because I think relationships are key in real yes. estate. Yes. Yeah. This is a relationship business. It is absolutely. So what else? What else do I need to ask you? Um. What's your favorite? Um, customer style person. Oh, um, that's tough for me because you know I have two favorites. Yes. Um, so and I think they're equal, and y'all in the middle it doesn't exclude you. I love you too, but I love um, I love the ones like this is probably not the great day for you to ask me these questions. Mm -hmm. I love the ones um, like my grandmother mm -hmm. that have lived in their home for um, forty years, and then it comes time to have to sell it. It's a it's a heartache on them, um, and I don't love their heartache, but I love that I can um, help to absorb some of their pain, um, and I can. I love to be able to work with them and to help them to um, take it a step at a time. And I'm not a calm person, but for some reason, in those minutes, I get calm, don't yeah. I? Yes. And and it's um, I don't know. I feel like I guess it's kind of a ministry. I love those people, and I I love that um, I can be a place for them for just a minute to, because mm -hmm. because a lot of times we have some tears. Yes, um, I just hit the eject button. Yeah, you go, Kendra! <laughs> <laughs> but I also love first-time homebuyers because oh, it's man. so stinking exciting. Yes. Um, and there, are, it's, it's a lot of work. There's a lot yeah. of questions, and, um, and I love it. I love whenever, sometimes I forget, and I don't catch on real quick, but then whenever I catch on, I'm like, oh my gosh, these people really want to yes, know. And I love it, and it's so exciting, and then closing is exciting. But then there's today, that lady was not a first-time homebuyer. And she's so happy with her home. Yes. So, um, which buyer do I love the best? All of them. Mm, which seller? Them. All of them. Great answers. What do you love? I, I'm a big fan of the first time home buyers. They're usually a ton more work. Um, the other day, we was, I was showing a young couple with a couple of kids, and they just <laughs> got frustrated. Mm -hmm. They just got frustrated. They're like, I don't know, let's just buy this house. And I said, no, wait. No, no, no. Let's go back to the square one. Right. And we came back to the office, I printed off every property we looked at, and we went through every property, slowly, pros and cons. It was an hour, we narrowed it down to probably three, and we're like, let's just go look at them one more time. And and sometimes we just get in that fast pace of, right. I, I, I don't know, I don't, I don't know what to do right now. And, and, and I gotta buy something, I gotta buy something. And, and it's, it gets panicky. It gets panicky. So. Um, and we're yes. in such a rush, rush mode that I think mm -hmm. it's hard for us sometimes to remember to slow down and to help them mm -hmm. to slow down. So, um, so it's a challenge that we have to overcome. One of the things I'd never, I had never um, kept tabs of of what I did. Um, and, and one time I ran into you. You had the buyer and I had the seller, and we ran into one another at the property. And um, so we're competing. And you said, "Hey, you've almost hit this plat, this um, what am I saying? This goal this year." And I'm like. 
Actually, I did hit it. Somehow I knew my numbers, but I hadn't set a goal. I just accidentally hit it. <laughs> and you're like, what's your goal next year? And I went, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't know. And I had shared that with somebody and they said, you know, he's kind of good at what he does. Maybe you should make a goal. And I'm like, well, boo, I don't know how. And so, so here's, here's one of the differences that I think helps to make our team really well. When you set a goal, how do you set a goal? Do you want me to tell you, like, you have, you have, yours is numerical. Yes, always. numerical, yes. And I have benchmarks, and mm -hmm. we, yes. So you want to help so many people. That's one of the things that I noticed about you. And, uh, like, when I look at it on the board at the beginning of the year, I'm like, oh, dear Lord, how are we going to get this done? Like we're going we're to touch 100 families this year. Well, yeah. this year our goal was 80 families, and I bet we yeah. still touch 100. Yeah, we'll get 100. Yeah. So my goals were, were different. I didn't know how to set those numerical goals. I didn't know how to set... Um, especially in Woodward Market where you never know if it's going to be up or down or if it's going to change in, in February from what you thought was going to be fantastic to horrible and then you don't know. It's hard. So it terrified me. So my goals were, do you remember my goals? <laughs> You'd be like, oh, I can't even imagine. Um, I'm going to, my, my goals were more like I'm going to return all the phone calls within two hours or um, I'll get all my emails returned in one day. And um, I had some goals like that. Mm -hmm. But it, it's one of the things that makes us different but makes us work well together because I'm so people-focused and you're so task focused, um, and and you love the people part because you're a people person. But but you're like get it done, get it done, get it done. Like you see things and numbers and things and numbers, and I'm like, oh look, that's a little Billy. So I mean, that's one of the things that I think makes us different. But I think that that's why why our team works. Yes. What do you think? I think it's true. So, um, <clears throat> one of the questions that's going to be on on the website here on discoverwoodward.com. Is, is something about what surprises customers, or I can't remember something something exciting in the market today, or something mm -hmm. like that. I, I want to talk about uh, market updates. I think that that's something that shocks people, as we're mm -hmm. always getting, um, man, the market's crazy right now, or oh, the market must be terrible. We see a lot of signs in the yards today. Do you want to talk about that? Yeah. So Woodward, of course, is a I'd almost say volatile up and down. Just it's just it's go, crazy. go go go. It's a crazy market, um, and it and it comes back to you may feel like we're in a, in a down market, but it's pockets of real estate. So we'll have a buyer's market in the 200 price range and a seller's market in the $100,000 price range. Or There's just no telling which, and, I, and the, I don't know if there's ever been just like a full-on downturn of a whole price range in a long time. In a long time. Uh, I mean, like now, we have, we have a buyer's market in certain price ranges, and we definitely have a seller's market. Mm -hmm in the four bedroom 250 range, like you can't find one. Right. And so, um, so the market in Woodward changes all the time. Mm -hmm. And just like last week, we sold like four first time home buyer houses. Which I took off two of days them. and you had six yes. contracts when yeah. I came back. That's good. <laughs> well, you didn't tell me what to really do, so I just <laughs> made up stuff and just found buyers. It's great, you know? it's great. So no, we, um, so yes, it's it's a, uh, the market is, is up and down and so, if you're looking to sell a home in the next, whatever, year, I would start early. Yeah. Just say, hey, let's get the ball rolling. We have right. some great systems on how to stage your home. Mm -hmm. Pre-pack your home, get ready to move. Um, we have great resources in connections with heat and air, electrical, plumbers, yes. painters, carpenters. Home inspectors so that you know what you're looking at right. on your own home. Um, so even, even if you go to sell your home, we, we really advise to do a pre-home inspection. Mm -hmm. That way you kind of have everything fixed before you sell it, um, and it's not a panic when you do it. Right. Um, and so I think that's great. Um, we so that's a big deal is the connections we have built in Woodward over the last twenty yes. years. Is is um, I I mean I couldn't do my business without them. Right. Absolutely. All right. It's time to tell people where they can find us. Okay. Our physical location. We are at one thousand three Oklahoma <laughs> Avenue here in Woodward, Oklahoma, just right by Walgreens. Um, we have a great office, uh, lots of room, and uh, come check it out if you haven't. Yes. Um, we, we're pretty proud of it. Um, online, you can catch us, you can catch our Brian and Kendra show at thebrianandkendrashow.com. Or at the Kendra and Brian show.com, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, you can also see us on all of the podcast mm -hmm. stations, right. iTunes. The SoundCloud, um, Apple Podcast. Yes. Um, so you can see us there. Um, our discoverwoodward.com site. Um, you can go check out all of our interviews there. And then over on the side, it has a link directly to our website. Um, and then our just direct line to our website is briancook.kw.com. All right. You did a good job. Thanks for letting me interview you. Yeah. Thank you for doing it. <laughs> yes.